In today's video, I want to be sharing with you 10 things that are going to drastically change your life in 2023. And some of these things I'm going to be sharing with you, they are things that helped me a whole lot in 2022. They are experiences I had that some of them kept reoccurring in my life, but I wasn't learning the lessons. And somehow, somehow, it happened that the way some of these things or happened in 2020 it was so bad that i was forced to learn the lesson because there's something they say that when life keeps on presenting certain situations to you and you don't learn the lessons from it that thing is going to keep on recurring in a more and more and more painful way until you learn the lesson in this video if you want to avoid certain situations if you want to have a softer more enjoyable more fruitful more prosperous life in 2023 then you should keep on watching this video because all the things i'm going to be sharing with you in this video is going to help you a whole lot to improve the quality of your life so guys without saying much i think i already said much but let's just get right into it so the first thing i want to share with you is that you should imbibe in 2023 is always dress well whenever you are leaving your house on a day-to-day -day basis always ensure that you are well dressed if you feel like you're not the type that likes to do a lot of makeup just do your makeup minimal always make sure you're well groomed your nails are Needs your toenails are also very neat. Your body is well oiled. You look like somebody that is well taken care of. You look like somebody that is that is respectable and you know somebody that loves and takes care of themselves. Because one thing I realized is whenever I dress up really nice and I have my makeup done and I go out, the the response I get from people is different. They tend to attend to me better do you speak to me more nicely they say things that oh ma i welcome ma like just respond to you and talk to you you like you receive more respect unlike when you step out of your house your hair scattered you're just dressed in your pjs you look a hot mess people will literally just leave you hanging there on the line because they feel like oh you couldn't even you're not somebody important so always you want to always make sure that you dress the way you want to be addressed no matter how tired you are because i remember when i was still on a nine to five job for months all because of the whole covid thing for months i wasn't doing my makeup i would just go to the office no makeup shabbily dressed and that was the reason why i was treated shabbily if you want to be taken seriously while on a nine to five job in your business always make sure you package yourself well when you're going out even in your house practice dressing well practice wearing things that you really like wearing Practice looking like you're a princess or a queen in your own home, not just when you present yourself to the, out in the world. You want to be happy in your own skin because you spend most of your time in a private. So make sure you are happy with how you look while you're at home. Take time to groom. Like today, I took my time to do my nails. Luckily for me, I know how to do my nails. Sometimes I might choose to do my nails myself or I might go to the salon to get it done professionally. So take your time to do your nails, do your makeup. Just make sure that you groom yourself, trim your hair, shave your hair, shave the hairs on your skin if you like to shave your hair, your armpits. Make sure you take care of yourself as much as you possibly can. Please always make sure you smell good. Invest in perfumes, deodorant, so you always smell nice. You want to be the girl that when you enter into your mirror, but it's like, man, she looks good and she smells so good. Like, what perfume are you wearing? You want to ensure that you're the girl that always gets compliments about things that you're wearing or just how you look or how you carry yourself so the second thing i want you to to take note of and put into practice in your life in 2023 is never put anyone above yourself stop being a people pleaser i know for me personally like i wasn't I, i'm not the friendly type I don't even know how to make friends i'm more of a loner and sometimes when i now try to be friendly because i'm sort of i probably describe myself as somebody who is a bit socially socially awkward like i really don't have a lot of social skills 
when i now find myself with somebody i'm trying to maybe be friendly with the person would start to look at me like oh why are you trying too hard most people that are very shallow they just stay on the surface and if you're somebody that is not somebody that stays on the surface you're somebody that has more depth and you try to be friendly with somebody that is not used to somebody like you that is not used to a person that is like you the person would see your vibe as being like why are you so nice to me or why are you so like your vibe will be different so you cannot be trying to be too friendly with somebody that doesn't have the same vibe as you ensure that you only make friends with people that respect you have the same vibe as you like sort of are on the same path as you are doing well as you or even better than you don't make friends with people that are lower than you make friends with people that have gone ahead of you that can help you unlike when you're making friends with somebody that is less than you just because you, you, you sort of found yourself in the same environment or you have one thing in common for that reason you have to make friends with the person because oh you share this common commonality but the bad thing about you making friends with somebody like that is that because they don't think beyond that commonality that you have they might start to disrespect you for that reason so you want to be very mindful of who you make friends with always try to make friends with people that are on the same mental level as you and also people who have the same visions or you guys your path sort of aligned you might not be in the same career path but at least you just you just want to be friends with somebody that if you're visionary make friends with people that are also visionaries I think that just explains it best. So the third thing I want to share with you guys that you should invite in 2023 is you teach people how to treat you by what you accept. Ensure you have boundaries. You know, quite recently, like an old friend of mine, he invited me to come hang out with him. As I got to the place, I was walking around trying to find him. But when I finally saw him, I noticed that I was upstairs. So I was asking, like, how do I get upstairs? Human being. Should I call him a human being? This little boy i think i'll just call him a little boy because he acted like a little boy this little boy said fly the moment he said that thing like i just realized that man this dude is disrespectful why would you want to sit down at a place with somebody like this i wanted to go back home immediately but i decided to just maybe um ignore it for that moment because i had kept him waiting for almost two hours which was very bad but even if you a girl kept you waiting for two hours she's still a girl you don't want to call that come out of her house one thing i realized that when i got up to meet him and i expressed my displeasure with him, in the past if he said something like that to me i would have tolerated it i wouldn't have been so angry you know the reason why i would have tolerated it then was because in the past if i liked somebody i would tolerate things that they did to me I would just not want to like shout on the person or like you know um complain about whatever it is that was done to me outrightly i might just ignore it but the truth is the things you ignore will lead to bigger things in the future so you want to always ensure that when you see certain things certain disrespectful things that someone someone does to you make sure you check it in the beginning because if you don't check it in the beginning the person will keep on looking at you like somebody that just accepts disrespect somebody that just accepts whatever is thrown at her you don't want to be you you don't want to be known as that girl or that guy that just accepts disrespect you want to make sure that you set very healthy boundaries so somebody doesn't come treating you like you are a fool because the person feels like they, they can do whatever they want to do to you and you always be their fool. no you're not going to always be somebody intelligence being that deserves to be respected so you should be able to demand respect from people and whenever respect is no longer being served on the table you leave the table so guys the first thing i want to share with you in 2023 that will change your life in 2023 is know your what add tax and you can even add service charge know your worth know your worth you know most times especially if you're somebody that does business or you're probably on this job and you feel like let's look at the like the african continent in most cases in most cases you find out that there's always like 
more people look there's usually an unemployment problem so for this reason a lot of employers tend to feel that uh even if they don't increase the welfare of the employees if the employees if they don't increase the salaries of the employees the employees will not quit why because there's no alternative for them there are no companies out there that can offer them more than what they are offering these employees but the thing is if you are somebody who knows your what and you know that you've improved in yourself you've invested in yourself and you are willing to go out of your comfort zone to seek out better opportunities for yourself you will not settle for the bare minimum and in business sometimes you are selling let's say i'm selling this lip gloss right now and you know that this lip gloss is really really nice because it applies smoothly on your lips it's not it's not clumpy it just makes your lips look very healthy and succulent and juicy but because if you like oh maybe you don't have a big name yet for that reason you are not willing to sell your product less than the fixed price for the product whereas you forget that there are brands who have lip glosses that cost a hundred dollars meanwhile the content of that brand's lip gloss might be the same exact content that your own lip gloss has and even your own lip gloss that you are pricing at let's say five dollars may even have a better content and products like color payoff and is better looking than the brand that has a hundred dollars to it the reason why that brand that sells their product a hundred dollars sells their product at a hundred dollars is because they've invested in building their brand they've invested in building their name take time to invest in your brand the more you invest in your brand the more you try to improve the quality of your product and your services the more your confidence is going to increase in your product and your services you need to believe in the product and the services that you sell because if you don't have confidence in the product and the services that you sell you would not be able to demand your words so build confidence in your product and services and start to demand your words and add tax add tax because if you keep on being being too desperate to make a sale being too desperate to you know uh, being too desperate to just be in business you end up finding out that you keep on attracting low value customers and the thing about low value customers is those low value customers are the ones that stress you a whole lot and in most cases you would not make any reasonable profit from that customers that are low value value that's the reason why i feel like brands sell that are more high-end brands they have less stress they go through less stress from customers because high paying customers don't stress you so if you are in business or you yourself are your personal brand know your words like i know last year i know how many brands reach out to me to market their hairs for them when i told them my what my budget was for if i told them what my budget is to make a review video for them they felt like oh it was too expensive that can't i take 200 dollars or 300 dollars i said no i can't take 200 dollars or 300 dollars because i myself i sell hair then i'll not be sending people that can buy my own hair to your company to buy hair from you and you want me to do it for you at such a ridiculous rate of 200 dollars or 300 dollars how much if i was to buy three bundles of hair and enclosure in front of i would spend at least 500 dollars to 600 dollars buying that then if i make a video on my channel for you and let's say two thousand people or three thousand people watch that video and at least 10 of them go to buy hair from that brand that thing people that i've given that brand nothing less than four thousand dollars and i asked a brand to pay me how much five hundred dollars to review a hair, hair to review their hair for them and they think that it's too much it just seems like they don't value content creators that's the reason why they are willing to just throw the bare minimum of two hundred dollars on you for you to review. In fact, there are even some of the companies that even told me things like um, that told me things like um, they want to send me the hair for free, and they won't pay me for the review. My my payment is the hair. I actually said no to them. <laughs> that Linda Ezemedolu does not review hair for. F I don't take hair as my payment. Like I'm like I'm not looking for hair. There's no hair I want that I cannot buy do you get i'm not looking for free hair so if a brand is reaching out to me to market their products for them they have to come correct if you're not willing to pay my budget and if you're not willing to pay whatever it is that is on my rate card then please if you don't have a budget for me don't reach out to me like 
it's one thing for somebody to give you your, their risk card and you tell the person that no i won't pay you that this is what i'm going to pay you're telling the person that the person is not worth that if you cannot afford something you leave it you leave it and look for something else that you can afford you reached out to a particular person because you felt like there's a value this person can give you but yet you don't want to pay the person a person's worth it's just like you going to Gucci and telling Gucci, Gucci sell this hair ribbon to me for five dollars when Gucci puts the price at five thousand dollars. You you won't even try you won't even try it. You won't even try it to Gucci. So why do you try to people? Know your what. Then the fifth point is have confidence in your products and services and charge your word i think this fifth point also ties in with the fourth point of know your what. but i think i'll just keep that fifth point and let it just be that it follows the fourth point then i'll mention the sixth point and the sixth point is what's given out for free is not appreciated don't be so nice some folks will see you as dumb you know one thing is because like one thing i'll just share something right now because of years of me putting out content on youtube some people just feel like ah linda is just one very free giving girl she literally give you everything for free some people will message me expecting me to give them my business my business vendors my suppliers for free because oh i came to this world to just be a charitable being i came to this world to give myself like i'm not jesus christ like i'm not jesus christ i cannot give you my life for free i cannot give you my business for free if you feel like you want to speak to me in person if you feel like you want to get my vendors if you feel like you want to buy a product for me you're going to have to pay like there is no free lunch in lagos you don't you don't live in any house in lagos for free or anywhere in the world like people are paying bills i'm paying bills you cannot come to me and expecting things for me for for free i put out content on youtube for free so don't come to me messaging me expecting me to give you my time for free or expecting me to give you values that i have things that earn me more for free if you're not willing to pay me please do not message me and this applies to brands and people who just probably reaching out to me to to get information from me like some people will message you and they acting like they want to buy something from you and from acting like they want to buy something from you they start asking you questions related to business that can benefit them they want you ask them are you not buying this thing and i say no no i don't have money you so you need to be mindful of people that want to take from you without giving you anything you need to be mindful of people that just want to always ensure that you are the, you are at the losing end of any deal you do with them be very mindful of people like that be very mindful of the users because if somebody is not willing to pour into you and feels like oh it's only them that is, that is deserving of being poured into that is not a win-win situation you have to find a way to you know shake things up a bit rather the sixth thing i'd like to share with you that's gonna really help you in 2023 is trust god always like for me in 2022 like this past year the reason why i was able to quit my nine to five job and do only my business creating content on youtube you know just living life and loving the life that i live was because i was willing to trust that god was going to provide for me and you know and i was going to be all right because let me just um let me share a little bit on like like my personal life even while I was my, but even while I, I had a nine to five job, I always had to think about rent. So I started to ask myself, if when I'm on the nine to five job, I'm always still thinking about oh, paying rent, paying rent, and the nine to five job cannot free me from the burden of paying rent. After over six years of being on the nine to five job, I'm still thinking about rent, rent, rent. Then I might as well just leave and find out. And see if God has something better for me. So I keep my nine to five job. And yes, I'm still thinking about rent. But guess what? It's not even up to one year since I quit. I already have my rent. I already have my rent. So you see people who went out in faith probably never did a nine to five job they just talk to their businesses and in probably like five ten years of doing their business they're able to buy homes if i stayed on a nine to five job for 10 years that nine to five job would have not been able to buy me a comfortable home in like like the city part of lagos it won't be able to 
so I feel like being able to trust God is always going to be a safer bet than trusting in an organization, than trusting in a steady paycheck. So trust God in everything that you do. Trust God in any situation that you find yourself in. Anything it is that is your heart desire, trust God with it. And definitely, you're going to be very fine. The seventh thing I would like to share with you is never marry for love. Never date for love. Marriage should be to elevate your status financially and not to pull you down a class. If you are a lady that is from a middle class family, you should strive to marry somebody that is in the rich category or rather upper class family. Don't drag your status down to poor by going to marry somebody that is poor because you love him. After three years, three months, in fact, let me just give you three months, three months or four months of being with that person that you love, you're going to get tired. That love is going to get out of your eyes. Then you start to ask yourself questions why did i marry this dude this is because he was maybe he probably he looks good looking he had broad chest he had six packs and that was one move you into waste going to waste your life with somebody that couldn't even elevate you financially or take care of you financially you know most times the things that the 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 things that a man is supposed to be in a home is not usually being preached a lot in a nigerian society because most times what is majorly pushed is oh woman get married woman get married but nobody really puts pressure on the men to get married so that they can provide and protect provide and protect provide and protect it's mainly you don't find out that you end up getting married and most of the people you get married you can't even pro 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 protect you and then the way where, where you now fall flat the most is they can't even provide for you so always ensure that if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody make sure it's somebody that can take care of you if you are shagging with somebody the person should be able to foot your bills if you cannot foot your bills then there's no point shagging up with him so dates for benefits dates who can help you don't date who cannot help you elevate your status in society next thing i want to share with you is nothing good comes out of broke places which is don't date broke guys hmm guys i see i learned a very painful lesson late last year late last year slash early this year you know all over for like 10 years all through my dating life i've, I've always been the girl that oh I, I i like good looking guys i just want to date this guy that's good looking even if he's poor i'll just support him and you know help him and whatever whatever but let me tell you something eh? there's a reason why that dude is broke he's broke for a reason if you keep and it's broke for me for a reason and one thing i noticed again about people that are poor is when you help somebody that is poor and at some point you stop helping them even when you're even helping them they'll be feeling like you're the cause of them being poor forgetting that even before you met them they were suffering in their poverty so when you now come and you start trying to help them get a better life with their very myopic mindset they start to feel like oh maybe you are, you are the one using their star forgetting that before you even met them they did not even have any star not realizing that you are the one that is actually helping the person's life and whatever so don't associate with people that are less than you financially because in most this doesn't just apply to just like relationships with the opposite sex even with female friendships don't make friends with girls that are poor because if you do when you guys go out all they want to do is oh you would they would order whatever they want and you will pay the bills and I've had friendships like that over the years. Whenever we go out, I'm the one paying the bills. Whenever we go out, I'm the one paying the bills. Whenever we, I'm the one paying the bills. I had to pull myself out of those situations because, men, if you cannot stand on your own, then you now want to be carrying along other people that will not be dragging you down. Even when they have, they will not give you. So then why are you now going to go and carry the burden of paying bills for other people that will not even pay the same bills for you? So separate yourself from anything that is broke. And the ninth lesson I want to share with you guys is be careful who you call your friend. It's better to have no friends and to have a bunch of friends that are not your true friends. Like the case with Shankwila Robinson, this story really went viral, viral about how she went to Mexico with her friends and they ended up beating her up until she 
was outlived. So in most cases, most of the people that we call our friends are really not our friends because it could be that let's say you've chosen a different path and just because you've chosen a path that is unconventional, they might start to hate you for that reason, thinking that, oh, who does she think she is, thinking that she can succeed out of this lane. They expect you to just follow the same paths that they are on. And when you feel like you don't want to be on the same path that they are on, they might be angry with you, like, oh, what, who does she think she is? You want to be very mindful of things that your friends say, how they react to you, the energy they give you. You want to always be attentive because the truth is, the way a person feels about you, how a person views you, you would pick it from the things they say, how they keep to their word with you, how they honor you on days that are important to you. You want to be very attentive to how people react to you because whether you like it or not, if you pay attention to a person's energy, from how a person responds to you, you will know who is for you and who is not for you. Talk is cheap. People can say all sorts of sweet things with their mouths. But when you look at into their eyes, the soul does not lie. When you look at their body language, they cannot lie with their body language. So look at people you call your friends and see what their, their mouth might be saying one thing, but look at what their action says. They might be saying something positive with their mouth, but what do they do eventually? Lots of the people that you call your friends are just mere acquaintances or clients. It's not everybody that is worthy to be called your friend. Some people could just be your friend for a season. And when you leave that season of your life, you should leave them in that season. Final point I'd like to share with you to take in 2023 is don't go broke trying to re look rich for people who do not care about you in this social media age a lot of people are just flexing on the gram flexing on tiktok traveling from one place to another living that baby girl lifestyle living that very soft life there is a lot of pressure because you, when you see your friend or your friend just travels to this place and you haven't even traveled in that many years your friend just bought this um i am um, balenciaga purse or balenciaga bag or gucci bag or, gucci, or lv bag and you don't even have one you are being tensed or you find out that people are doing big big things and you haven't even been able to do a, a little thing for yourself like don't pressure yourself Whatever it is that you have and you're able to work with at the point you are in your life, work with what you have. Don't try to be, don't try to go out of your way to look, to impress people that do not care about you. Because the truth is, when you go out of your way to impress people that do not even give a f about you, you end up regretting your decision of wasting money to please people. And start wasting your money trying to please people that were not pleased. You you are not able to use that money for something else that would have benefited you better or would have even that or that would have even been more impactful to you let's say you use the money to invest in something that could be beneficial for you in your future don't be trying to please anybody like this life it's every man for yourself nobody really cares like that except maybe the person is your family or the person just has a very good heart only do what is best for you put yourself as the main character in your own life always do what is best for you not trying don't don't go out of your way to please anybody don't go out of your way to buy the latest shoe or the latest bag or change your hair every week like don't pressure yourself because of anybody live your life authentically don't be striving so hard to please people that do not even care about you live life live your life the way you want to live your life so guys, I hope you're able to get value from all of the points that I've shared with you in this video. And I really wish that your 2023 is one of your best years yet. If you want to see any video from me in the future, you can leave suggestions in the comment section. I'll be glad to respond to your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Remember, be bold, have courage, and live a positive life. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.